And I've scared. never felt more important in my whole life. <laughs> Today's episode of Beauty Trippin' is brought to you by The Uncarrier. Introducing T-Mobile One, all unlimited, all in. I'm sorry, that's our car? Not driving it though, there's no way. And you're so attractive as well. It's like <laughs> this. A cherry on top. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is happening? Oh. The door's opening backwards. Oh. How do you get in there? Um, this is not gonna be graceful. Butts up. Butts up. All right, so we have the clue. Okay. The, the trophy, trophy life's chosen, chosen two. two. We've been chosen? We've been chosen. The trophy life has made its choice, and it's us. <laughs> and we didn't get to choose it. So, okay, this is a Rolls Royce. Yes, this pretty is Rachel the Rolls Royce. Pretty sure the only reason I know what a Rolls Royce is is because J-Lo drives around in one. Do you follow her around town? <laughs> I would like to, but her security team has 86 me. Okay, so trophy life's chosen, chosen two. two. I mean, I feel like it's pretty exploitatory. We've got to go fancy, and there's got to be a stake involved. That's just me. For some reason, me. I feel like that sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Trophy life's chosen too. I hope we're wearing crowns. Oh, maybe we're going to become like pageant girls. Oh, or maybe we're going to go try on like Neil Lane jewelry. Oh, Neil, no, he's too busy with that big show on TV. Oh, that's true. Okay, question: How close is our drive? Like we're we close. Can, we're, we're super close. We're so already. In Pretty close. So it's in Beverly Hills. About five minutes, maybe. Beverly Hills, maybe West Hollywood, perhaps. A little WeHo action. I do have to say, these seats are really comfortable. No wonder oh. they pay lots of money for these things. Yeah, I feel like we need to explore this car. What's going on? There's like a little side pocket situation over here. I mean, I feel like a butler is going to pop out of one of these gadgets. He's right here. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I think we are rolling up to this place. We're rolls rolling up. <laughs> Fan. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, wait, why are why are we here? Uh, well, if you take a look around, you can see that this is an atelier and we do haute couture clothing for A-listers. And today, you guys are gonna get the A-lister treatment Grammy style. <gasps> uh, yes, you. This girl has touched the bodies of pretty much everyone we obsess over. J-Lo, Beyonce. I love knitwear and all of this is done without electricity. Every stitch is moved by hand. This is like totally different what? than the sweater my grandma makes me. No, it's, this, this is, is not your grandma's sweater. sweater. Uh -huh. So Natalia, there are two different style dresses here, yes. right? Is this metal? It's 100% metal. Wait, how much does that thing weigh? I think we actually weighed it one day. It weighs about six pounds. It's not as bad no. as you think. It's, it's less heavy than a wedding dress. It's only always because you you can almost see through it. So it's like, <laughs> there's not much underneath there. I mean, it's not light, but it's balanced out. So the way we the way I designed it is to have like a full back versus having like a skinny strap mm. because you want it to not dig into your shoulders too much. So where do you get this fabric? Well, we make it all right here. You, I'm sorry, you saying. make the fabric? We make the fabric, yes. <laughs> so I, I'm a huge ecological animal rights kind of girl. I'm a total urban hippie. And so we buy this, the silk chiffon uh, from other designers. So when they're done with their season's collection, like you know, typical colors like, like black or white. Like their scraps, like their leftover pretty fabric? Pretty much, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh my god! And then, we buy, and then we buy it and then we actually get it cut into little ribbon and then we knit that ribbon. And that's how we get this amazing fabric. And that's why no two dresses are identical because the stitches are placed by hand. You this are is such wild. a G. <laughs> so we're not used to having like the A-list experience, uh -huh. but we're totally into this. My question is, when you're gonna work with a celebrity like J-Lo, the Kardashians, or Kiki Palmer, who you just dressed, <laughs> How does the process work? It's, you know, it changes every time. Sometimes I get to work directly with celebrity and I'm there for the fittings and I'm literally working day in and day out. Other times, I don't even know the celebrity's gonna wear it until my phone blows up because somebody said they saw somebody on a carpet and they had pulled something from a showroom or they bought it at a store. Like the Kardashians, they just bought my stuff and then they kept buying it and then eventually yes. they reached out to me. That makes so, me happy that they actually pay for it. Me too. They're, no, they, they totally do. They're great patrons. <laughs> okay, now I have to ask mm -hmm. the question because we're peasants, so we can't afford anything that doesn't come from a mall. Well, um, 
how much do one of these dresses cost typically? Because uh, this is A-list. Yes, absolutely. And it takes a long time, so I hope you're making a lot of money. Oh, well, I think I think I am doing pretty well. Uh, these dresses, <laughs> uh, they start at about $5,000. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit closer to $10,000. Wow. Everything's handmade, and the materials alone are very, very expensive, just from the process of cutting down the fabric and the love. Love costs a lot. Well, not only are these stitches hand-placed, but the actual side seams are also hand-sewn, and we do have this really special haute couture stitch that allows them to be completely invisible. You can't find them. I can't find them half the time, even when I've sewn it up myself. And today, Kelsey, my assistant designer, is actually sewing up a dress Hi, right there. Hi, girls. And wow. she's an expert. She's like a she's like a dress sewing knitting ninja expert. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really nice to look at on you know models and stuff, but I kind of want to wear it. I mean, like if you're looking for someone to try something on, yeah. I'm totally glad to help you out. We'll or you out on Instagram or something like that. I mean, I, I think I think we can arrange that. Okay guys, I have pulled an amazing rack and I want to pick stuff that's perfect for each of your styles and skin tones. So who likes to wear color? Well, if I'm going to the Grammys, I want to wear color. Okay, well then I have got a dress for you oh because you God. have red hair and can we say what goes good with red hair is teal. Yes, because it's Ariel and I'm the Little Mermaid in my heart. I was thinking we should put you in a metal dress because... <gasps> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> so funny you should say. That's rock and roll. She you... did rock the goth look recently. Oh yes, I'm super into the rock and roll Rock and roll look? I'm thinking like a metal mini dress. Do you like... Um, do you like rose gold or gold? What's, what's, what's <gasps> more? Well, if you want to look more naked, the rose gold. If you oh. want to look a little bit more clothed, the gold. Naked or not naked? naked? Naked or not naked? Come on, Jocelyn. Okay, <laughs> not naked. Not naked. No, All right, gold not it naked. is. Her mom watches this. My show. mom watches, but I love All rose right. gold. We will go with the gold then. And but I mean, that's pretty naked. But we're gonna put, actually, we're gonna put a, probably a black slip underneath. Perfect. Here. I cannot wait for you guys to see yourself. Oh Let's take a look in the mirror. <gasps> oh my. Gosh! Jocelyn, you look like a trophy wife, literally. <laughs> I cannot even believe this. She looks liquid. You look like you're dripping in gold. And this is insane. You look naked. She's not naked. I have, I'm very covered, actually. But yeah, and I feel so like tight and firm and comfy. It's warm, too. It, it is. It seems like it's cold because there are a lot of holes in it, but it's not. And the weird thing is, like, when you see something like this, someone wearing it or on the hanger, you're like, that's not going to really move. It's going to be tight and, like, rigid. Mm -hmm. But not only can you move, it also gets warm. It's like the same heat as my body. Well, yeah, actually, um, that's what's so cool about it. That's made out of copper. And copper acclimates to your skin temperature probably within, like, 10 seconds. So it's cold when you first put it on, but the rest of the day, it's exactly your temperature. temperature. And this is gold? The that's choker gold. Yeah, the choker is, is gold. Everything. Thank you. Jocelyn, let's put you in a black dress with black <gasps> chain. Ooh, so you yeah. like that goth. I'm and Erin, I'm thinking, you said you really like that Kiki Palmer look. Why don't we give you the light gold Something version of that? Ooh, oh my gosh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, I will oh. never look as good as Kiki Palmer, but I'll try. Oh, I, I think, think you're going to look smoking. All right, ladies, let's take a look at these options. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Who are these ladies? Wow. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not good enough. I want to like, oh. No, I <laughs> Put you on my shelf. Oh. Over, I don't know a fireplace, but if I did, I'd put you on my mantle. Oh, I'd stand there like this. Like, beautiful. The oh, I feel yeah. like I'm ready for battle. This is so pretty. Like Sh those, you know, those armored men. Aaron of You would like walk in and like distract them. And they'd be like, oh, we're in a battle. And then you could slip. Yeah. Yeah. Right that's there. plan B. This career doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jocelyn, you look like Elvira a little bit. You got the little bit oh, of like I a. Love oh, no, Elvira. no. What's the, what's the mom on the Adams family? Yeah. Morticia? Morticia. Yeah. Yes. So like Hughes. a sexy, edgy, fun mortician. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of things going like, for me. Maybe I drink blood, but maybe I don't. <laughs> surprise for you. What? What? Tickets to the Grammys. Oh my God. We're going to the Grammys? What? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Do you guys get to wear my dresses to the Grammys? And 
Your fans get to vote on which outfit you're gonna wear that you tried on today. Make me fashion proud, okay? Rebecca looks so hot. Or I, hot couture. I'm freaking out. You're our fairy godmother. You're fashion godmother. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, go out there and make me fashion proud. elegant A-list experience and we're back in our Rolls Royce again. Hello, driver. Hello. Hello. Actually, we're going back to our normal life now, which is kind of sad, but today was such a dream. This is the most amazing experience so ever. So cool. And you know what, Nadalia? I've known her for a long time and she is such a gem. And I always want to see designers and people in Hollywood succeed who are like her. I, it's she's so deserving of any and all success she gets because her pieces are incredible. I feel inspired to do something amazing. Take on the world. Be a girl boss. You guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. Leave a comment and let us know what you thought of this amazing insanity. And we'll see you next time. And subscribe so we can do more of this, please. Help us decide what to wear to the Grammys. Click the box on the left to vote for our first dresses. Or click the box on the right to vote for our second dresses. Or comment below with your choice by using hashtag dresses1 or hashtag dresses2. We'd like to thank our sponsor, T-Mobile. T-Mobile One is all unlimited, all in. Switch today.